Chinese communists are probably watching them right now, okay? If they're willing to do that, then we Americans who have lived our whole lives with freedom and liberty, we have to stand up because to fight and help and defend them is a fight to help and defend ourselves and to defend our country. If we're not willing to do that here and open our mouths and speak up to them the same way that these people are, then this world is in trouble. And it's not just here in, in the United States. We know it's happening all around the world. And the media in this country, as corrupt as the media in China, the media in this country that takes their orders from the Chinese Communist Party, trying to deny the truth to the American people and to the people around the world. And these people are telling us here, you better wake up because it's coming here. It's already here. The media in this country will not let me get on the TV and say the words that I'm saying. But these people will. Isn't that ironic, America? Chinese... We have a big problem with the American media in this country. They are working against us. They are working against liberty. They are working against freedom, and they are working against the truth. And why are they doing it? For money. They're doing it for money. That's all they care about. And I see the Democrat Party in this country that is under the thumb and on the payroll of the Chinese Communist Party. And they don't deny it. They don't even deny it. I see the effects of what that does to freedom and liberty, and we have to stand up to it. I'll be back. I will be back with my flag, and I will bring more people back next week so that I can stand with these people and let them know, because you know what? They're standing with me. 上周末，新泽西也有多个市镇举行汽车游行，传递真相，受到民众支持。汽车顶上的中国不等于中共向中共说不等标语过往车辆鸣笛致意路上民众竖起大拇指表示支持新唐人各地记者站综合报道